Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run of this week's featured Master Nightfall. I'm doing it on the Warlock and this week's Nightfall is Scarlet Keep. As you can see, I'm doing it on Void Walker. I'm going to be using uh, Wither Horde for Unstoppable and really good for Ag Clear. I'm going to be using the trip, Tripwire Canary for Anti-Barrier and Fixed Odds. All aspects, fragments, mods, and all the rest of it are shown here in the video. You can pause, have a look, see the setup I'm using if you're really, really interested in getting it right down on this. Although, I would probably suggest switching your scavenger from rocket to machine gun. Yep, we all make those mistakes. So, the idea of tri using a tri tripwire canary, which is this season's bow, I have explosive payload on it, is because you do a 25% additional arc burn in this strike. So this will be able to do decent damage to the red bar adds while breaking a lot of the shields for the knights. I put major spec on it because that does more damage against uh, the barrier knight shields because champions are classed by, by the mods. And they are classed as majors. So, and I've got uh, the machine gun on because all the wizards it really does a good bit of melt I think I've got feeding frenzy and killing tally on and I think that's what I've got on but again it's not a big deal the mods the perks you've got on your machine gun any any of any of the fixed odds would would be good for this so the reason it, it kind of took me a little bit lot longer to put this video out than I actually wanted to is because a lot of you might know I, think I was pretty ill at the start of the season uh, more than pretty ill uh, it's probably the worst I've been in it lasted about seven weeks I had about four three or four weeks where I felt fine and now I'm starting to get ill again and I think it's because one of my kids have caught something at school and anybody that's got kids will know if your kids catch it at school you catch it so I wanted to give my voice a chance to kind of come back it's still a little bit raspy i apologize if it comes across in the video i just wanted to get this out because i've been sitting on it for a couple of days now uh so anyway the, the run is roughly the same as the gm run maybe a, it's, it's faster obviously by about 15 minutes which you would expect i always go for this barrier so what i'm going to do here and you'll see a, a kind of a good thing about being able to use a machine gun you'll see here is range so it's a, the the fixed odds is a slower firing and it's rule of thumb slower firing higher impact per round so sometimes it's better to have the higher impact you know uh, to get the range than it is to have uh, a faster firer and vice versa sometimes it's better to have faster firing i can't remember what the fixed odds is rpm You've got, obviously, your retrofit is a 900, so very fast rate of fire, but it doesn't hit as hard per round as as the fixed odds. The fixed odds is... I'm just trying to find it. Uh, the fixed odds is a 360, so quite considerably slower firing than the retrofit. Uh, it's in the same kind of place as the Swarm, which... Just as a side thing, we found out it's coming back as a nightfall weapon next season. Goody. Man, they really, they really dropped the ball, I think, on the weapons they're bringing in with next season's GMs. But we'll talk more about that. So, again, it's, it's you know, roughly the same. Uh, except you, see, if you put, if you put Weather Horde on... Why? I, it's something I was used to see in D1, uh, D2 at the start when I used to do my, my Nightfalls. It's about ammo consumption, making sure you take care of your heavy ammo. Weather Horde allows you to do that because upon breaking the shield after that, really all you have to do is get a Weather Horde on and maybe put a couple of more shots on and, you know, you'll be good now. One thing I want to address right at the start of this is... Uh, because some people might be thinking it, why am I still doing it the same way I do the GM? Because the aim of this channel, and always has been, is repeatability. I want to show you guys, if you guys get good practices in your head, and you continue to do them, it doesn't matter if it's a master, if it's a grandmaster, if you guys get really good practices in your head, and you just do them muscle memory, then 
you know, after you do that, that's when you start, you know, you, if you're going to learn the stuff like this, you need to learn good practices to start with. People that you see speed running and doing that type of thing, highly entertaining, but they've already done this part of it. They've already worked out how to repeatably do it, and then they can mess with the strategy because they know exactly how it works. And that is why I'm doing it exactly the same, just about, so you guys can see good practices lead to easy runs. So this is the second wizard. We'll just make sure we're taking out all of these guys. Now, the weekly modifier for this nightfall is togetherness. Uh, that's part of the reason why I'm using Voidwalker, because Devour gives me my health back. So we're going to have a champion up here, just straight off the bat, stick a grenade, which suppresses them and damages them. The, the, the Voidwalker uh, grenade works very similar to Breach and Clear. So when you hit an enemy with said grenade, I'm using Controverse uh, to get my grenades back faster. Now you'll see here, right? They're coming at the grenade and as soon as they die, I get health back. Like that. So even if they do explode on top of me and my grenade kills them, the healing factor should heal me before I die. You know, so I'll take tons of damage and then straight away straight back to full health. Devour is a very, 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 very good perk. Uh, it took me a long time to start using it, but uh, yeah, it's, it's it's not... Well, I suppose <laughs> there's going to be some people say, Mondo, you use Devour all the time because you, you, you like a Void Warlock. I do, but you can have Devour on any Void class uh, as one of the fragments. We'll just stick a weather horde now. You don't really, at this part, you don't really want to push up that bridge too far because you've got an overload up there. So what we're going to, uh, unstoppable. So what we're going to try and do is just put a grenade. Now I think I missed so many of these shots here. I don't know how I missed that. Managed to get, get one on him to stop him. You can put them on the ground. You do not need to hit the unstoppable with a weather horde don't have to hit him. If you put it on the ground and he goes through it, it'll stop him. But the reason I like to hit them uh, is because if you hit an unstoppable with with a weather horde shot, it will stop them twice. It'll, it'll stop them, damage them, stop them again. So it's, it kind of makes sense to... Uh, it kind of makes sense to, to stick it on them. I kind of... I've noticed, and you guys probably have noticed this as well, the ads really are, like, they, they hide a lot now. It's like it's like the AI has, has ramped up. So if you break a shield or you do a good bit of damage to an ad, be prepared for that ad to run away and, like, make a, you know, post on Instagram, put a Twitter, Twitter post up about how, how bad Guardians are. <laughs> I've now got it in my head of a Dreg running behind something and grabbing its Samsung, its iPhone out. Ha <laughs> Hashtag oppressed. <laughs> I'm just minding my own business, my friends. This Guardian came up with a, this big void grenade. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, they will run and hide. Uh, if, you, if you're dealing with a shielded enemy, you don't even have to do that much damage. Uh, you just have to break the shield and the ag's like, oh. Hightail it out here, not having this. This is not fair. Right, so you can see there, I hit, hit that barrier champion with my grenade. And then straight away, he was suppressed. He kind of walked slowly. He's, he's very... Another kind of cool thing. I'm going to try and hit this Shrieker with this Weather Horde now. Give me a couple of shots. It's, it, you know... I used to be really bad with the trajectory of the Weather Horde shots, but as you can see there, two shots. Oh, the reason I do that is one, it's a bit of fun, but two, it means then I can put some heavy on the Shrieker, but I can then dip out a cover when, when the Shrieker then gets a bead on me and the Weather Horde will finish the job. So again, clear up the rest of the ads and then move up. Be careful when you get up here, these two Void Acolyte Snipers. Well, there's actually four here and a Wizard, but these first two, you'll take one and then the other one will probably teleport further up. Wizard was really nice. Normally you break a wizard shield, like I, like I said, 
and the minute you break their shield, they will dip out a cover till they get their shield back. But uh, in that instance, the wizard felt a bit brave and came back. So, when you get to this area, I always try and take the ads on the bridge first because they're closest. Take these two guys first. If you get a bead on any of the others, so be it. But as you can see, there is a champion and a bunch of ads there. If we can hit the champion and break his shield, you know, more, more, you know, that's all good. I'll try and hit him with a grenade. That will suppress him, kind of stop his movement a little bit. As you can see, he's going to break, he's going to put his shield back up. Last ditch attempt to stay alive. Kill him, clear the ads, move on to the next section. In this section, this next section coming up, it's, uh, this is where we capture the plates. Make sure that you take all these acolytes, don't, you know. The last thing you want to do, and again, just a re the repeatability of this, the last thing you want to do is rush into an area where there still adds up to kill an, an ad who will be shooting at you as well, because you'll be taking fire from all, all sides. So as you can see, just put the grenade down. I left my grenade to finish the wizard. For the simple, simple, uh, simple reason for that was... If the grenade finishes the enemy, I get, a, you know, a bunch of grenade energy back just because the grenade sat on the enemy for longer. So given your grenade, your grenade will give you back grenade energy on, depending on how much it's hitting the enemies on multiple occasions during one encounter. So don't waste your grenade, especially the Vortex with Controverse. Don't waste it on ads that it can possibly kill really quickly with, you know, if you want to get it back. You want to have it hitting as many enemies for as long as it can. So you'll see, if you watch the grenade, periodically, it just keeps giving me back grenade, green, grenade energy, if I can even say it. Because that's the way it works. The longer it sits on the enemies, the more grenade energy it gives you back. And the vortex grenade with with the fragment where it weakens enemies and, and you know, you get yellow numbers. That is, that's the business. So you can see here, as soon as you throw your grenade, you get a lot of grenade energy back. And then, the grenade sat on the enemy, and as you can see there, I got my full grenade back. I'm ready to throw again. It's just a very, very for me, it's the best Warlock grenade. Even with Arc 3.0, I mean, the Arc grenade with the fragments and the, the ability to jolt and stuff, can't argue with it. It is really good. I just prefer the Vortex because it does more damage, but it's more of a, a focus grenade, I would say. But it has multi, you know, it's, it's multifunctional. And there we go. That's that is that uh, that is that champion taken. Make sure you capture the plate. On the left hand side, it will tell you. It says uh, pursue Hashladun Doctor Crota. Altars captured. Now it will say two or three. Make sure that. We've already captured the first plate. Just make sure you've captured the next plate. Because the champion will come out at the start, as you guys might know. The champion comes out at the start. So, you'll probably get off the plate. That, that guy going in there probably gives us a grenade back, which is cool. Uh, so, after you kill the champion and the four acolytes, which you get at each plate from the same sort of lo location. Left and right's the same location, should I say. The middle plate's slightly different. There we go. Now he, I thought he was going to go behind that pillar. Sometimes he does go behind the pillar. We've got a good bit of grenade energy back anyway. And there we go. Now we still got some ads. Because it seems like sometimes when you put the weather, you've got to make sure you get the weather horde right in front of the door. And although they nerf the amount of time it lasts, it's just how much it seems to me if you put. If you put it on the... If you hit someone with the Wither Horde, it seems to last longer. I don't know if that's the case or whether it's just my perception of it. It seems to last longer if the Wither Horde has landed on the ad and is doing damage to the ad as opposed to the Wither Horde just sitting on the floor. It doesn't last as long uh, on the floor. So make sure that you're, you know, give it a couple of left and right plates. Give it... Give it a second or two before you start firing your Wither Horde at the doors, just to make sure they affect the enemies. So, we're going to move up here. Uh, this is the section that, that leads us up to up to the lift. Uh, you'll have a bunch of acolytes. 
I feel like I say that in this in the strike a lot. There's a bunch of acolytes. Once you clear, you see I've cleared that that acolyte at the back. Once I do that, uh, you'll get the sniper at the top. And then normally, as you can see here, barrier will run away. And we'll just break his shield here, and then stick a weather horde, and then just get a nice little melt on him there. Easy, e easy work. You, so what you're doing is you're using your weather horde here to obviously put breach and clear on, but it helps you do damage with other things. So here we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to throw my grenade down here, and I'm going to try and take the snipers at the back. Take the stragglers that the grenade won't kill. And there we go. So you put your grenade down bottom of the stairs and let the first set of acolytes run into it. And then and then you take the snipers that are at the back. That your you know your grenade won't touch them. Anytime you see, because because of your, the weapons you're using, anytime you see any of those solar bombs coming in, just make sure you move out of their out of the way. So so that you're not trying to take down a champion. Uh, while burn, you, that that is not a good time. So, I'm gonna put our rift down, and then what I'm gonna do that is what I call a speculative grenade. We want to catch something, but if we don't, we don't. It's more of an area of control. Hashley Dune has now moved on, but there's still a barrier somewhere over there. So what I'm gonna do, same as I done in the last room with the with the 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 shrieker. Oh, third time lucky. That looks good. There we go. Same thing again. We'll just come down here. We'll see what, what our uh, Weather Horde manages to do. Nearly killed it on its own. But we've still got a barrier. We've still got a bunch of badges around here. They, they, they just hid really well. If I needed to, I could throw my Nova just to get health back. So we'll just put a Weather Horde over there and hopefully... Now you see, I stuck the Weather Horde. He was running away, but it is a knight's uh, prerogative, or it's just the way that they work. Prerogative is the wrong word, but it's a, a knight's mechanic that when he gets hit with anything kind of like that, area of effect, whether it be a grenade, Weather Horde, whatever, he uh, he will dodge. And it was just luck for us. He dodged backwards into the Weather Horde, which then stopped him because he put breach and clear on him. Uh, weak and clear. So, we're going to have another barrier up here. Again, speculative grenade. We want it to start hitting and doing something because then we just gives us grenade energy back. And uh, as we can see, it, it did. It hit, the, it hit the champion. So again, I'll try and land a weather horde shot on him. I'm trying to save heavy because I kind of got a rule of thumb. Once I get to 50% here, uh... You see there, I, I was going I was going for the finish. I don't even know if I've got Lucent Finisher on, but I was going for the finish to try and get some heavy. Yeah, once I get to about 50%, I stop. Uh, I stop using heavy as much. Now, I spoke about this in my GM video, and I found it really funny. I spoke about it in my GM video, and then somebody, mentioning no names, made a whole video about this. No need to cheese this. If you get, if you get your position on the left, right, which is to look up the left, see me doing it to start with, and find all the closed sections. If you find all the closed sections of these, and make sure you're in a position behind them. Now on master, depending on your power level, you uh, you you could just fight the ads if you wanted, but it's much easier to learn how to do this. Look up, find all the section where they're all closed for two or three sections, and that is. That is where you, uh, that will be the side that you, you hide behind. So there's where our champion, just get a weather horde on him nicely. Broke his shield, I will put a little bit of heavy on him, let the weather horde finish him. Now let's have a look in here because we never took any of the ads this side. So make sure you're uh, be still being safe. Again, if, if they throw something at you, make sure uh, make sure if they throw something at you, you're not staying there and just take you know tanking the shots. 
Now, at the start of that encounter with that champion, you might have noticed I didn't throw my grenade at him. Right? I threw my grenade at the side of him. I didn't want him to go. Now, it works that way. Remember I said the mechanic of a champion is, or a knight, is when you throw your weather horde or whatever, they will dodge immediately. Normally, especially with grenades, I'm not too sure about weather horde, but definitely with grenades, which side, if you're trying to attack a champion and if he moves one way, he'll go into cover, right? That's the side of him you want to put your grenade. So you see there, I looked up, I seen that this section here has the most kind of closed sides. Hopefully I'm correct. I keep, I keep checking to make sure. So what will happen is behind you, so directly behind us, two of the sections will be closed. Next to both of those sections, there will be one section that's open. So you see there, that section's open, so I stayed to the left-hand side of this pillar. And normally what it means is, if the bottom section of the open section, the, the section that's gonna be open, if it's the bottom section on one side, it will be the top section on another. So make sure, if it's the bottom section on the right, you stay to the left of the pillar, so that you're in cover from the bottom right. Uh, make sure you stay there until until the lift is past there, then you can just move to the other side so that you're in cover from the other side. And there we go, there's the... Uh, we, we, what I done was I... I uh, I made sure I, I stuck a weather horde to start with. I'll just put a weather horde down there. You Once you take the unstoppable, you've got a wizard on each side. What you're doing here is making sure that whatever side that you're attacking, the adds on the other side can't get a bead on you by clearing them. So what I've done, see here, we're just gonna try and hit a weather horde shot. Perfect. That weakens the enemy. And then we'll just let Weather Horde finish that wizard. Now what I've done is to start with is I put an, uh, a Weather Horde shot on the Unstoppable, which stopped him. Then I put a grenade. Now the grenade isn't always for the Unstoppable. Because there's a whole bunch of ads. So what I've done was I uh, put an Unstoppable, put a, put a Weather Horde on the Unstoppable, put a grenade down, which was cool. While I was doing that, my weather horde reloaded because I've got the catalyst. So if you don't have the catalyst and you're like, dude, this is taking forever. Uh, Bungie announced a patch that all uh, all multipliers for catalysts will count from now on to all catalysts, all previous season pass catalysts. And the way that worked is once you got well, you was like the alpha and then the omega, I think that's what they're called. It's one is times two, the next one's times four. It, you complete the catalyst really quickly if you've got the multipliers for that season's catalyst. No, that season's catalyst will count towards all season's catalysts. So if you haven't done your weather horde, start my think from next season. It will be really simple for you to do it now. And there we go. That is us at the boss. Now we are going to employ our little... <coughs> I don't even know what to call it anymore because I can't stand the fact that people call this a cheese. That's just ridiculous. This is not a cheese. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my grenade and you'll see what another thing the grenade does is the grenade drags the enemies towards it. And there we go. I put a weather horde on one. I don't want to use any more heavy. I, there we go. We've dropped more heavy. That's why I came over here with the hope that we had. Now, you'll see what we'll do here. Weather Horde. Super. Into position. Now, the Weather Horde does really good damage against Ashley Dune. You've seen there, one Weather Horde. Uh, just put a Weather Horde out there. One Weather Horde, one grenade. Just stick a speculative grenade. And there we go. We've got the Wizards out as well. Now, I I must admit, taking out this this wizard, only one of these wizards pushes you. Just put my grenade over as well. As long as it's hitting something. You know, you see there, it's hitting something, so that's why I got a whole bunch of grenade energy back there. 
I've got my grenade again, so I'll toss it. Break his shield so that he can hopefully take a bit more damage. We're looking for this other wizard. I can't remember if I've took her yet. Oh, there she is. Just the problem I had was because my weather horde and 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 so on and so forth, because they'd done so much damage to Hashley Dun, I got all the ads. Which is cool, that, that makes it a little bit faster. But just that's a speculative. Unfortunately, I'm just probably not gonna be able to take that wizard from here just yet. Uh, my grenade never hit too much, but I've got, I, th I think my discipline's quite good, so still got a couple of, uh, I, as you can see now, because because there's just two Arc Knights and a Wizard, one of these Wizards will push you, as you see in the book, it'll come down to the right. I hate the fact that Knights sometimes just keep moving even after you've done damage to them. There we go. So we've got another Arc Knight, I think, up, and the Wizard. So we'll throw that up there. And there's the Wizard. I want to get this Arc Knight down first. See there, he's just blasting. Break his shield. Now, Hashla Dune's not an issue because she's shielded. Don't want to give... I made the, I made the mistake of saying, uh, exposing myself to the Wizard said that in the last video and uh, <laughs> yeah people were like I'm definitely gonna be exposing myself to the wizard and I know the way it sounded trying to oh there we go we've got a weather horde on her which could be all you know all she wrote there we go so now what we want to do is actually do with a weather horde and then Nova now she never shielded and because togetherness is on I'm not regenerating health, so I'll just get back into my cubby, and again we'll just jump up and see what it's about. Now what I done was, there we go, that might actually, yeah that done, it was literally just one more sh shot she needed. Uh, what I done there was, I put my weather horn, I put my grenade down on the left and there was a knight there. I needed to get the knight to move, so I, as you can see, it does work with the weather horde. I uh, threw my weather horde to one side, and I uh, threw my weather horde to one side, which made the knight jump into my grenade to give me back more grenade energy. So you can actually use that like that. So now we're looking for an unstoppable. There we go. Let me put a little bit on him. No. I'll need to stop him again. You see, now not everybody knows this. So that's why I'm going to say it, right? There we go. We've stunned him. Now we're going to switch switch back to Weather Horde and stun him. And then grenade. That should take care of him. And that's what, that is one of the champions gone. Yeah, so what I was saying is not everybody knows this, but champions have especially... Uh, we just go at the moment with the with the unstoppables. Champions have tendrils in the back of their head. Now I'm going to use that word because that kind of is what it is. Like like uh, hairs, right? But it's, uh, they're not really hairs. They're like I, I I don't tendrils. <laughs> it's kind of what they're like. Right, we'll just take them out. And and when they, when you stun them those tendrils kind of light up, right? While those things are lit up, you can't stun them. So you can tell when you need to re-stun a, 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 an unstoppable because those... Uh, there we go. Those tendrils... They are... Uh, just trying to finish this uh, thing off now. Those tendrils will stop lighting up. So now what we want to do is speculative. That should be that should be it. So that's how you can tell when you need to unstart the stunner champion again. And there we go, guys. That is a solo master of Scarlet Keep uh, on the Warlock. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry it took so long to get it out, but this goddamn voice, throat and cough. Uh, hopefully, I'm it's going away now because I've had it for a few days, but. 
I don't think I think I'm going to have it for a few more. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. I hope this helps you guys. I hope you enjoyed the run. Take it easy, and I'll see you guys in the next video.